Hey everybody, how's it going? We're doing a little Thursday content. Tomorrow's Friday. Been busy today, designing things. Yes, just remind, just as a reminder, I am now back from vacation and I am adding new content to the Redbubble account. So we're doing a, a mixture. I, I might, some might feel that I'm not staying on brand with lantern stuff now. It, don't get me wrong, I am going to be adding more lantern stuff. However, I'm going to add a lot of other things. Funny stuff, dog related stuff. I, I, you know me and my Boston Terriers. I, I love that breed, so I'm adding Boston Terrier related uh, merchandise uh, or designs to the Redbubble uh, account that I have. So I will definitely leave a link once again in the description area so you can check it out. Okay, right on. So, trying to, you know, get more designs out there. So spread the word. Tell a friend, send the link to other friends that you think will like the designs, please. Uh, let's, let's get this party started. Speaking of parties, you remember the Defiance Lantern that I shared in my last video that I found while we were at, on vacation? Uh, well, I borrowed a fuel cap from another lantern just for the time being and I put fuel in it and it looks like it's holding fuel now there is one little spot right here you see that a little bit of a damp spot so it looks like it has just a minute little leak it's tiny but you know what it's not dripping no, it's not dripping uh, it's just sweating, so at some point I will fix that leak because I'm going to clean this thing up a little bit. It is very rustic. It is very rustic, and um, I will be patching that. But for the time being, let's let's fire it up because that needs to happen. Now I will say I I've been burning this lantern many nights, and I like it. I've been burning it and enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, but we will share that right now so you can see. Even this clanky, janky, dented up, rusty old Defiance burns fairly well. As you can see, the, the flame is actually not that bad. Mm. Sorry, the globe. I like a dirty globe, but you can just kind of tell that it's burning actually all right. But it's a Defiance number zero, perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's quite a claim. It's called perfect. It should be a pretty perfect flame, and it's darn near perfect flame, that's, that's for sure. But this lantern is really cool, and the fact that I've done nothing to it except for replace the globe, it came with a very nice, amethyst tint uh, cold blast style globe as I showed you in my last video uh, but I had this nice hot blast style globe that has an amethyst tint to it and uh, so I thought that would be a fitting globe for it I, this globe is a musical globe how I mean is that I've had it in my NCL crank tubular for a while I also had it in my Dietz Royal back here for a while so it's it's shared it's been passed around. It's the village mule, if you will. <laughs> but it's a great globe. It has a real nice, you know, age to it. It's, it's got the amethyst tint going on, and I have not cleaned it. It's got this nice old school murkiness to it, and I like it. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as is until it gets too dirty to see any light out of it. <laughs> but, you know, as long as the lantern's burning clean, it's not going to really smoke it up too much. Uh, unless you're just being silly. Uh, so yeah, but I mean, look at this thing. It's just janky. I mean, look, it wants to lean, it leans to one side. It's, it's taken a fall a few times. Uh, air tubes down here are kind of crushed, just a little bit. Not enough to obstruct the airflow, obviously. It burns just fine. But yeah, this thing is a winner. And, uh, you know, for the price, uh, I think it was, I did all right on it. Yeah, I paid $45 cash. And uh, that was in Kingman, Arizona. And the funny thing is, is that there were plenty of, there were other lanterns there at this one shop, but they were all 
over $65, $75. It was a high-low that was marked at $145. Yeah. Now, the lady running the shop, she was very, very nice lady, and she says, well, you know, make an offer. Let's talk price. You know, don't get discouraged by the prices you see. I'm willing to negotiate. So she, she said that. So I, I approached her on this one, which was sitting in the front window of the shop. And I, I noticed that it was rusty and it wasn't a common streamlined deets, which they had plenty of for very a lot of, a lot of money, sadly, which I never understand. I, I, I like the lanterns. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm just saying, why do people charge or feel that they're worth that much money? I, they're very common. They're common lanterns. You know, they're great, but they're common. But anyways, um, this thing definitely was the one worth more uh, interest to me. And, uh, well, you know, I like its original rusty character. And I'm going to clean up just a little bit. I'm going to I've been I've been just using it as is. I haven't done really anything to it besides just uh, add a wick and oil and a fuel cap, but uh, and a, a proper globe. But yeah, anyways, number zero defiance. Um, I have two other defiance lanterns. One is the the large cold blast. Number two cold blast that I got in Connecticut from Lantern Joe back in July last year. And the other one I have is from Russell Smith which is the best ever top lift, which I just added a bale to it that Mike Lawless uh, provided for me. But anyways, um, so yeah, this thing is really cool. It's the only Defiance Hot Blast I own. So for now, I'm enjoying it. It's a fun lantern and it has that fun little match striker on the, on the air tube and it works. I, I've tried it out. I should have used that to light it today, but failed opportunities, right? Yeah. Missed opportunities, that's the phrase. But maybe we'll do it next time. Yeah. So that's that's what's going on out here in the time cave. Not too much. I'm going to be uh, probably trying to tackle li a few projects, or at least start one project. I have a hilo that uh, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, gave me. And uh, it should be a very straightforward restoration. Just nothing too major. But I think I should clean that up and get it going. Uh, with that being said, I'll probably be doing that this weekend. Time permitting and also temperature permitting because it's it's summer and most of the time it's very warm outside so with that being said I'll just play it by ear but anyhow uh, wanted to share the defiance perfect and how it's burning just fine and it's I've been enjoying it late at night and it's just a nice soft warm glow and it doesn't smoke and it burns just phenomenal so yeah smart buy good investment um, so anyways, I, I wanted to also let the lantern collecting community know, all my subscribers, uh, for those who are on Facebook, just keep an eye out. I'm planning to put up a lantern or two this weekend um, for sale. I am trying to manage the collection. I don't have nearly as much as some do, but I don't have nearly as much storage space as some do. I have a very limited amount of space. I live in a you know, 1940s duplex bungalow type of thing, and it's, it's small. It's cozy, but it's small. And then my garage is usually where most of the stuff winds up, and, well, I I need to manage it. it there's a lot of stuff out here. So um, just keep your uh, eyes peeled and see what comes along the way. And I will be posting them on the Antique Lantern group. You can hit me up uh, through DM, and we can talk about price or whatever I don't know we'll figure it out so all those who have bought and landed for me have been very happy about it so yeah anyways signing off for now hope to make some content tomorrow this Friday which is my usual content day uh, but anyways if not then you have one today cool all right friends take it easy and we'll see you again soon with another lantern all right have a good one bye bye